Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video for Agent Force for everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn how to invoke record summary prompt templates from Flows. So far, we have covered how to create record summary prompt template, how to invoke from Apex and Flows, and we also covered how to invoke the record summary prompt template from Apex. Now, we are going to see how to invoke the record summary prompt template from Flows. So, in the previous episode, we have seen this is our record summary prompt template so we are going to use the existing one in this episode as well and we have seen we invoke this record summary prompt template from apex and this is the apex code which we have written and this is the name of the record summary prompt template which we executed from this and whenever the response has been generated whenever the summary has been generated we stamp the summary to the record summary field now we are going to do the same thing but with flows so I am not going to use this class anymore, but what I want is I want that this record summary prompt template should be invoked from the flows. So let's go to the flow and create a new flow. Let's say we are going to create an auto launch flow where I am going to invoke from the action. And if I scroll down, I can see my prompt templates. So my prompt template is account summary record summary prompt template RSPT. So I'm going to select this and I need to pass the account data. So how I can pass the account data? Let's see. Uh, invoke account summary record summary prompt template. And here we need to pass the account data. So let's first find the account record. Get account where ID is equals to we are going to create a new variable let's say record id text and available for input why i'm marking this available for input because this is a auto launch flow so you can call this flow as a sub flow from your parent record triggered flow so let's say whenever a account has been created or a account has been updated you can invoke this flow passing the account id and then this flow will help full to generate the summary and stamp it to the record summary field so that's why marking this field as input done so this way we are going to find the first record the first account record and then we are going to pass the record to here that's it and then this is going to generate the output which is the response and we are going to manually assign the variable whatever we are coming in the prompt response so let's say a new resource variable should be name as prompt and then text and i will not mark it as input or output because i am going to use this variable inside this flow only done done so we got our account record and we invoke the record summary prompt template flow now once the flow once the prompt template has been invoked and the data should be generated successfully i am going to update the record so let's say update record summary which account uh, let's say specify condition account the id should be my record id which is coming from the parent flow and i need to update the record summary with prompt that's it and save and I can simply save, invoke, record, summary, flow, and save. Now, because I don't have any parent flow, I have not written any record record flow. So I'm just going to test this from the debug only. So let's say debug and I need to provide the account ID. So I'm going to provide this account ID to the flow and run. So if you look at the path, everything is blue. That means everything has been successfully worked on. And if you look at this debug details, we got our record, then successfully found records. Then we invoke the record summary prompt template. We pass our account ID and then we got the response. So this is the response. This is the summary generated by the record summary prompt template. And then we updated the summary to the record summary field. So if we go and look at the record summary field, let's refresh the page details. So now I can see the data has been stamped to the record summary field from the flow. So that's how you can invoke your prompt templates, uh, record summary prompt template from your normal flows. Uh, that's all for this video. So we covered episode number 26, where we have seen how to invoke record summary prompt templates from flows. Now, in the next episode, which is going to be a very interesting one, we are going to invoke this prompt templates from our AI agents. And we will see how AI agent can call this uh, prompt templates to generate the summary. So for example, whenever a user asks, please summarize this account. So from the AI agent, we are going to invoke this and then this prompt template is going to generate the summary and return back to the AI agent. So we will see in our next episode. Uh, till then, take care and thanks for watching.